Hello people, and welcome to a little node controller showcase video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the process of bringing parallel tram lines alongside road networks into three, four and five way junctions, and using node controller to allow them to cross over the road but maintain their parallel aesthetic, whilst also all passing through at uh, the same node. It's a really cool trick, uh, we've used it in our city ILO, so I will give some real city working examples of this towards the end of the video. But let's dive straight in and talk about how we can do this with node controller. Some supplementary mods are also required for this, including the road anarchy and fine road tools mod. A precision engineering and move it can also help, but the main one you need is node controller. So right here, I have a standard three-way junction. This will work with anything over three, you go for three, four or five-way intersections. The node controller work will just become slightly more finicky the more junctions you have off of this main one here. We're going to come into our transport and we're going to grab ourselves the tram track from the Snowfall DLC. This is the road network that only accepts trams, not cars. Now what I want to do along the side of the road where you want the tram line to flow is to find a unit of 12 units from where the tram line will start into the central node. Uh, this is because if we do this closer, we're going to be getting two nodes quite close together with each other. And once we start offsetting in node controller, it doesn't like this. Um, so we want to give as much room between this node and the first tramline node as we possibly can. For this is going to be 12 units. So we're going to do that. You also need uh, road anarchy on for this. And also turn off road bending within the road tools. So 12 units. Let's find it here. I'm going to leave it one grid snap from the main road. You can leave it further away in this if you want to. But everyone's choice will be different. I'm going to draw that in. That obviously looks absolutely horrific. And we're going to do exactly the same thing on this side now as well. Finding that distance of 12 units. Again, if you're wondering what mod that is measuring this for me, that is precision engineering. It's going to give us something that looks like that. That's absolutely horrendous, of course. Let's go ahead and hook in these tram lines at either side of a new tram system now. So there we go. This looks terrible, right? <laughs> this looks absolutely awful. So we're going to hit a node controller. This will be in your unified UI if you're using it. You can also hit control and N to bring up the node controller shortcut. And we're going to start to edit this node right here. First of all, we just want a square run off to bring everyone nice and even. And then let's just roll the master offset so we have lots of breathing room here. And then what we're going to do is identify the two nodes that are assigned to the tram line. In my case here, it's purple and blue. And then we want to start shifting them. Okay, so it starts to line up with how the tram line flows into the junction. Okay, exactly the same thing with blue as well. Just want to line it up so it's nice and straight. There we go. Then once you have this configuration, we can hit this bottom here for make end straight. That's going to line everybody up. So hopefully now you can see what this has accomplished. We are sending the tram line through the same node as the junction on the road. So you're not eating up more nodes and it's a really nice way to have trams pass over same node without having another node so close to it so you will notice that there are some slight inconsistencies we can see a little bit of tear in here and um, with the pavement on each of the corners this can happen and again more of this junk will appear the more junctions you have coming off of this and um, the way to fix this is to start offsetting and um, the nodes that are next to the tram nodes so for this purple one it's going to be orange so i just want to start offsetting the orange you can just see now as we bring the node closer in that tearing just starts to disappear do exactly the same thing with the green here too you just notice as you roll it in everyone's gonna sort of lose their tearing and then if you want to sort of re-offset the junction now you know bring it a little bit smaller if it's maybe a little bit too wide for you you'll notice that that tearing does appear again again just very minor adjustments with the offset of the node that is next to the tram nodes will fix that tearing issue which will leave you with a junction that looks a little bit like this. So let's get some trams flowing through it and then we can talk about some other additions as well. So once you have your junction configured in the right way with the right amount of uh, roads coming into the intersection, like I mentioned, you can do this four way, you know, another sort of six lane uh, arterial frame will uh, snap perfectly into this. You'd obviously just want to uh, amend the current uh, node controller configurations with the new offset. So the, you know, curbs are all nicely curved and cornered. Uh, likewise with five way as well it will also uh, work in this regard if you wanted to of course road anarchy is also needed again but a little square off again slight uh, adjustments with your uh, new offsets will allow you to continually expand this junction out 
Yeah, I think the, the limit for one node is eight intersections, so you can make this as wide and busy as you want. Uh, there is also some nice uh, time traffic light tricks you can do with this, but I'm not nearly experienced enough with time traffic lights. If you want to learn a little bit more about that, I will leave links down to Biffa and Yumbo below. Uh, those guys are much better with traffic margin than I am. But we can talk about some uh, detailing palettes. There's an ILOS driver, <laughs> of course. Of all the times for them to show up, this is when they turn up, right? Um, so any kind of concrete brush, or indeed surface painter, to uh, fill out these areas here will you know, get rid of that little bit of grass, which for me in this case happens to be sand, uh, just so you can make it flush with the, the road network. Okay, let's bring that out, because the surface painter does ever so slightly tear uh, the tram tracks, which is a little bit irritating if we come down here. See, it has to be kind of fully painted to bring the texture across, but there's concrete brushes that can also do that. And because you are so close to a road network, you can still afford to place uh, commercial units on the opposite side of this. Uh, they will still maintain their service collections. They'll still get garbage coming in and um, because they're so close to this road. So that's going to be absolutely fine as well. Uh, plant pots. And um, if you search for plant pots and find it, uh, there's some really nice ones uh, that come with, I think some of the green city stuff as well. So you can get involved with those. You know, bringing in some uh, planters between the road and the new tram network is always nice. Uh, come ahead and find a tree uh, that you're fond of within your save, either vanilla uh, or indeed a workshop tree that you're so fond of. You know, all these little inspiration palettes can come from you know, your own inspiration or Google Earth, YouTube videos. I tend to involve myself in a lot of this stuff in my videos. Okay, so you can just see now how Adding in a little parallel tram line alongside your main arterial networks, it just adds such a nice layer of depth to the public transport when you start doing this kind of thing. Okay, again, um, any little bits of fencing that you're fond of could be, you know, workshop or vanilla. Uh, let's just go for like a vanilla fence, shall we? Uh, let's go for a nice little bit of farm fencing. So you can bring these between the commercial lots and the tram line. Okay, that's going to really kind of add in another uh, layer of detailing for you. A uh, node controller can also be used to turn some of these crossings or some of these nodes into actual crossings, which will allow sims to move back into uh, between uh, the different tram nodes here. Uh, so you can add in a little uh, vanilla walking path with uh, anarchy on, so people can actually move between road and tram line, because obviously the game doesn't function like that. So there's lots of little nuances and details that you can add in to this setup once you have it configured around the junction. And I hope now just kind of taking a look at this little shot here, right? It's a much more interesting tram network than just using a regular tram road. It really widens it out. And of course, you're not getting the sort of, you know, jank node. What we'll do is we'll have a little look at the alternative uh, to this setup. Um, if we, we were to create another sort of uh, T-junction here. Let's just come on for uh, this one. So we'll do the same thing. We'll grab those tram roads. And then if we wanted to sort of do the same thing, we'll snap into the grid. So the alternative here with Anarchy is to actually have the node next to this one, which for those that are experienced with City Skylines, the AI does not handle reading nodes this close together. This is always a bad thing to do. And again, the alternative with Anarchy is to just draw it straight across, which gives you the torn textures between each of the tram nodes themselves as it goes over the road. So really inefficient solutions at node controller makes this process vastly easier and a lot nicer. I hope you all agree. So now what we'll do is we'll take a look at some of these tram junctions in effect. See where we brought it across one of the wider ones here. Uh, again, you can see where we've stretched out the corners using node controller to allow them to fit a little bit easier. Uh, and then same thing here with the detailing. You know, we have a one-way system in our downtown with a little bit of fencing, some commercial units, and then a, a little prop just to help flesh out the uh, tram station asset a little bit itself. You'll see, you know, people moving around these little layers now to get back into between. And then where it crosses over the road, you know, we have this in Ilos' downtown as well. Exactly the same process that we've just done. Uh, but this time actually using the asymmetrical uh, Big American Roads pack. So it's not just the vanilla roads that will work with. You can do it with workshop roads too. Um, 
it's all absolutely fine. And then this theme repeats itself several times throughout our downtown on both sides of this one-way network over here. So it's a really nice way of sort of using trams a little bit differently. So I did also try this with rail network. However, because of the way that rails snap um, at a very sharp angle, it doesn't work. So for example, when we're snapping into the junction and then coming back out, the rail line will break. Uh, obviously, tram lines don't behave in this manner. I have also tried the setup with uh, trolley buses as well, but again, to not any great success. So you can see, so this is what's actually happening as we bring the uh, tram network into the node on the road. It maintains its connection. Rail does not. So I haven't found a way to make it work with rail lines. It only really works with trams, but I hope that, you know, kind of seeing them uh, within a real uh, functioning city is at least, you know, sort of inspiration as to how you can use these things. Um, it's a really cute trick. I'm a huge fan of doing this now with tram lines. Uh, if you have any suggestions as to how this can be uh, improved or perhaps sort of, you know, tweaked and refined a little bit, please get them down in the comments for myself and other viewers to see. But if you have enjoyed these little kind of mod showcases, I'm happy to make them um, as I come across them as we continue to build ILOS. But uh, yeah, huge fan of this one. Really nice way of using trams. Um, I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did, a like, comment, share below is really uh, it helps me out. And equally as much, if you have enjoyed it, then leave me a dislike as well. Uh, yeah, I hope it's useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.